Thieves continue to steal catalytic converters. The Oak Ridge Police Department says theft is on the rise. This is a map of where it's been reported. It's such a quick crime, most people don't even see it happen. Once stolen, replacing them can cost a pretty penny too. Reporter Caitlin Keenahan has tips for how to keep your car safe. In rain or shine, it only takes someone three minutes to sneak under your car and take your catalytic converter. Now what they're looking for are the precious metals that lie inside. Someone that knows what they're doing within seconds could have it, uh, have it taken off the vehicle and theirs and gone. They're easy to take and relatively easy to sell. It's hard for the uh, scrap companies to tell or determine if they're stolen or not stolen. The thief cashes out while the owner of the car is stuck with up to $2,000 worth of replacement fees for a new catalytic converter. But there are ways to prevent this theft from happening in the first place. If you're in a public parking lot, park in a well-lit area, um, park close to the entrance of the business. Police say the majority of these crimes are happening at night in dark parking lots. So for example, if I were to turn off my reporter light, you can see just how dark this parking space is right here. The goal is to look for a place that has a light on. If not a reporter light, then at least a lamp light up above. If you're parking on the streets at home, try to install or adjust security cameras to include those parking areas. And finally, report suspicious activity. Driving by, you see what appears someone uh, may be stealing someone's Cadillac converter or messing around parking lot, just uh, call 911, call your local law enforcement, let them check it out. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan reporting. Thieves tend to target vehicles higher up off the ground like SUVs or vans.